Hey, in this video I want to show you how to uh, enable uh, featured images in your WordPress theme if you don't have that enabled already and how to add uh, specific image sizes to each uh, featured image. So for example, here's our very simple basic nothing too exciting WordPress theme. It's got these blog posts over here with no images sort of next to them. So what we're going to do is we want to enable featured images in the theme and then we want to add specific image sizes to those uh, featured images. So uh, essentially what you'll be able to do is if I go to the dashboard and I go to add new post, new blog post, put my title, copy and then so the featured image box would show up over here where you can just include a featured image that's associated with this blog post but we don't have the box appearing here so the first thing we need to do is jump into your theme uh, go to functions.php here at the bottom I'm gonna type in add theme support perfect and the theme support we want to add so this is the documentation for adding theme support so this is the function we're going to be using and the parameter that we want is post thumbnails okay so make sure to pop that in here get rid of this extra uh, quote there okay perfect so now we've added theme support I'll make a little comment here add theme support excellent uh, what for thumbnails okay good so now if we go back to our blog post here and if I refresh this page where I'm adding a new blog post you'll see a new box appear here so I'm gonna go ahead and put something in here new blog post I'm just gonna get some placeholder copy put that in here cool set featured image and so in our case I just have three images in my library here you can go ahead and upload yours uh, if you want at this stage uh, there it is right here is a preview click publish and if I view the website now if I scroll down nothing's appearing but here's that blog post cool so what we need to want to do now is uh, in our loop in our basic WordPress loop head back over to index.php um, scroll down a bit so here's just our basic uh, WordPress loop and in here I'm thinking maybe below the title we'll add a space here where we want to include that image so the way we include a featured image into our loop it has to be inside the loop so what we need to do is type in the post thumbnail that's a function save that so no parameters just yet and we'll, we'll add that in a second so if I refresh this page now we have a very large image so you see this image doesn't quite fit into this space no good so we need to size this image so I want something significantly smaller than this so what we need to do is head back over to image sizes and we want to add an image size that's be more pertinent to what we're doing so let's go ahead and do that now so add image underscore size and so this takes a handful of parameters so back in here in the documentation page so we have a string so the name of our image size in our case we'll call this one blog dash post the, the next parameter is now the is an integer the width we're just going to give it a 250 comma the next one is also an integer which is a height uh, also give it 250 and the next one is a boolean true or false so if I scroll down here I'll see that if it's related to the crop and whether to crop images to specified width or height or resize so I'm going to go ahead and click on true so that I guess would crop it for us cool uh, save that make sure to put that semicolon in here excellent so now if we go back here if you try to refresh this now it, you see that it doesn't quite work out and the reason for that for that is because we've uploaded this image already so when you upload an image here it, if this did not exist beforehand it would have not created this so this is not retroactive so you might find a situation where you've uploaded a bunch of images but none of them are cropped to this size so what do you do at that point well there's a plugin that can help you out with this It's called um, thumbnail regenerate if I'm not mistaken so let's go do a quick search for that thumbnail regenerate search for that and here's a good one here this is the one I've been using for a while now and it's been pretty pretty good so it's installing go ahead and activate this plugin oh but I also forgot to do one other thing so maybe some of you are yelling at the screen right now you forgot to specify blog post 
in your uh, loop, which is true. So in here, what we want to specify, just because this is the post thumbnail, we want to make sure to put blog post, was that the name? Uh, yes, it was, cool. Save that, but we still want to regenerate that thumbnail so we get the new crop size. So head over to tools, you regenerate your thumbnails, and then regenerate thumbnails. Let's give it a second. Almost there, okay. And there we go. So now if we refresh this page, we get a recropped version of that same image. Cool. So now this recropped version is specified from this, uh, the post thumbnail with this parameter blog post, which is connected to this image size here blog post. So now as you can see, this will show up in all these blog posts. So I had already included featured images with these blog posts and that's why they appear here. So because we have this loop, in our, in our index.php, we get these images to appear. So just to review, I'm gonna head back over to our posts. As you can see that posts, in each blog post, I'll just click on a random one here, already has a featured image. So if I remove this, for example, update that, I'll open this in a new tab, visit site, scroll down, and this no longer has a featured image because we did not include one. Okay, and that's it.